Good morning, everybody. Good to see everybody out today. Happy Awana Sunday here at White Ash. I know we're just a few minutes early, but I always feel like it's good to get started early. Amen? And so we're glad you're here. Um, we had a terrific 9 o'clock service, and uh, we're expecting, excited about seeing what the kids have here at 11. I'd like to welcome everybody who's joining us online today. Um, this is a different service than we're used to. I wanted to get a few announcements out of the way um, before we got going. First of all, I want to say thank you for taking up an offering last week for Daniel and Angela Michaels. Our church raised around a little over $2,000 last Sunday. And so praise, the, praise Jesus for that. I do want to point out just several different things here in um, the bulletin. First of all, new today is our Camp Jericho applications. That was, we should have had more excitement than that. And so Camp Jericho is our youth church camp. It's just north of Goreville and Pulley's Mill. Um, we have two things there. First of all, it's for kids, kids ages 6 all the way to 18. There's different weeks of the camp, and you can sign them up. And also, there is um, opportunities for you to volunteer down there as well. And so we're going to be having some volunteer dates on June the 9th and also June the 30th. I think that's right. I'll make sure I announce them before time. But they're down at Camp Jericho at 2.30. And so please, um, if you would like to um, fill this out and put it in my mailbox, um, you can do that. Or you can register on our app um, and on our website. Also coming up is Vacation Bible School. So Vacation Bible School is the uh, first week of June this year, I believe. And you can sign up to volunteer for that on the bi on the bulletin board. And you can also sign your child up on our app. Um, and we're going to be doing the Great Jungle, and it's June 3rd through the 7th. So we praise the Lord for that. Coming up at the end of the month is our annual Fish Fry. It's Sunday, May the 25th. That'll be down at Camp Jericho. Rain or shine, we'll be frying fish, hamburgers, hot dogs. We ask you to come bring a lawn chair, side dish, and a dessert. There'll be bounce houses for kids. There's always a cornhole tournament. It's always a lot of fun. Um, remember, next Sunday is Mother's Day, so make sure you get your mother something if um, that applies. And then um, today, um, we will not have Children's Church next Sunday, but starting the following Sunday, we will have Children's Church. And also, I want to put one more plug in for the Coalition of Life um, they are needing help and volunteers at the Carbondale Abortion Clinics. And if you can give up 30 minutes, an hour, 15 minutes, whether it be hold a sign, you need to... ...in the first service, and he's going to be out at the Alamo next Saturday. If people just want to see what it's about, they can come and just hang out with him at 8 o'clock. And so please... monthly food bank. We need all the help that we can get. We'd love to have you out. We're asking our volunteers to be there at nine o'clock. And so we're excited for kids who are walking in. I have no idea what they're, oh, I'm just kidding. We're excited about Awana Sunday. Amen. And we're excited about our Awana program. And I just want to do um, something before we start off. I'm going to ask for Eric and Chrissy to come forward. Yeah. This is Eric and Chrissy Holmes. Um, Eric is one of our youth pastors along with Justin Hancock. This is Eric's wife, Chrissy. For those of you who don't know, um, he may be the brawn, but she's definitely the brains. Um, and... For those of you who don't know, years ago, um, Hannah... Where's Hannah at? Stand up, Hannah. Hannah, how old are you now? 25. So when they first came here, you were probably 11. Stay standing up. Somewhere 12. I don't know. Somewhere in there. They've been here about 13, 14 years. And anyway, on Sunday nights, Hannah wouldn't be here in Cat and, and Sam and, and Tristan. I was like, where's your kids at? He's like, we drop them off at another church. And they would, they would drop them off at Awana at Third Baptist, and then they'd come, they'd come over here to church, and then they'd go back and pick them up. And I was like, well, that's dumb. And um, I was like, you ought to start that here. But, you know, they took their own time, and they prayed through it. And they started this from the ground up with a lot of help. 
And I will tell you that we've seen church growth from our Awana program, and we are very, very thankful. You can sit back down. We're very, very thankful for these two. This is just a little token of our affection from White Ash Church, and just give them a big round of applause, and thank you, thank you, thank you for their leadership and direction in this. It's all yours. So, uh, just a little bit of order that what we're going to do. we got a youth band up here, and... Uh, Ty, did you go through our Awana program? I don't know. Did you go through that? So that means they all, all these kids are a product that has went through Awana. So we've been here a little while, right? <laughs> They're going to sing some songs for you, and then we'll, we'll get into the rest of the, uh, the program. So uh, treat this just like a church service. Praise and worship the Lord, okay? the mic's on. Let's stand. Wandering into the night, wanting a place to hide this weary soul.
Amen. Us up out of our mess, and uh, he is the strength, he's the power that we all have.
love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made I will sing. Lord, thank you so much for the opportunity to come here and to worship you. God, thank you for Awana and the celebration, you know, these kids coming together and learning about you, learning your word, um, hiding it in their hearts. God, thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you for these kids. In your name I pray. Amen.
Lee Pelhank, what can I say? The man died, passed away, I should say, uh, January 13th of this year. And uh, you may not see it, you may not know it, but us within Awana and those that he touched, uh, just in his church, it was cool. Uh, I know Randy's going to share some a little bit when he gets up as well uh, about Lee, but it is, it is just neat to know the man's heart and to know uh, how he loved Awana. In the short time that he was with us, he loved Awana. He says, we took a chance on him, but I think he really blessed us in a mighty way because uh, of his infectious uh, emotions and attitude that he had. It was awesome. So uh, our hat's off to Lee. He would not want to come back here, just saying. So uh, anyway... Let's uh, let's let's move on. I've got some. Uh, we're going to do a little different uh, with our. Uh, I'm going to read some scripture to you, and that way it's not at the end. We're going to we're going to do it now. So our theme uh, for Awana is Second Timothy two fifteen, and it says, "Do your best, not not just ho hum a little bit here and there. Do your best. You do if you own a business, you do your best, right?" At running that business. That's the easiest way I can put it. Because you put your heart and soul into that. And it says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved. A workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Do your best and don't be ashamed. That's a honest theme. Uh, approved workmen are not ashamed. So, just a, just a few verses that we're going to cover. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I'm that product. Listen, as a child, I was in church. I'm pointing over here at one person. This person knows who I'm pointing at. Two, if you, you know. <laughs> but I was in church, but guess what? I walked away from it. But in the back of my mind, down deep inside, I knew what was going on. And guess what? Look, I, well, you know, only God can orchestrate something like this to be for me able, be able to stand here today. Uh, Mark, I've got to get my glasses down here. Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16, when G, it talks about Jesus blessing the children. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. Kind of crazy to think the disciples would be rebuking, you know, bringing the children, you know, to him. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. And he said to them, he was not happy with them at all. Red letter stuff right here. He said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. He took the children in his arms and he put his hands on them and he did what? He blessed them. You know what? Sometimes I, I, I look at the kids, you know. It's not us blessing them, but them blessing us. And that's a cool thing, you know. And it, granted, hey, we have to have a big dose, dose of patience to make this happen, right? We do. I mean, it's just the truth of the matter, but... 
Man, what a blessing it is. What a blessing it is to be able to have, you know, and be a part of Awana. So here's another one. When the disciples, was, they was arguing over who was going to be the greatest in, um, in Matthew chapter 18, uh, chapter, or verse 2. He, being Jesus, called the little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like a little, the little children, you will never see the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like a child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes a little child uh, like this in, the, in my name welcomes me. But if anyone causes one of these little children who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. That's pretty strong right there, right? I love these kids. A lot of other people in this church love these kids. They love your kids. I'd stand in the gap in any way, form, or fashion to protect these kids, to protect any kid. And it's important that we instill in them God's Word so they understand when they grow older, right? But so in this, in this, uh, in this reading here, Jesus used a child to help his self-centered disciples get the point we are not to be childish like the disciples were and they were arguing over petty stuff but rather childlike with humble and sincere hearts jesus says to come with childlike faith childlike faith what is childlike faith it is the innocence of not us as adults as hmm yeah, let me think about that. Well, what about this or what about that? I don't know, you know, what if I've done this or what if I've done that? Yeah, I don't know, you know, you know. And we get hindered down and we get held up a little bit by stuff. Childlike faith, the innocence of it. Man, when a child comes running into your arms and they know that you're going to catch them, you know, they're going to run right to you. We're not going to sidestep them and trip them and make them fall down. Though there may be some in the world that might try to do that. I may be out goof around with it, but I'm going to catch them, right? You know? I'll end with this. Psalms 127, 3 through 5. Sons are a heritage from the Lord. Children, a reward from Him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior a, are sons born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. White Ash Church, our quiver is full. It is running over. It, we are blessed in a mighty way within this church with the children that we have in it. And I thank God every day. For the ability to be able to see these kids. And I'm thankful that this church has the heart to want to minister to these children. This does not fall through me. It's not me. This is a whole group effort. It takes a whole church to make this happen. And I'm telling you, it is quite the blessing to see and to step back and go, man, God is so good at what He is doing. Kids, I'm glad you're here. I am. Let me finish with this on, the, on, on a note from this passage. Too often children are seen as a liability rather than an asset. Do we hear that all too often? Do we hear that a lot, right? But the Bible calls children a heritage from the Lord, a reward. We can learn valuable lessons from their inquisitive minds and trusting spirits. Those who view children as a distraction or a nuisance should instead see them as an opportunity to shape the future. Amen? We dare not treat children as an inconvenience when God values them so highly. Let me make sure I get this in there because every time uh, in Awana, in our celebration, I get to say this. Before you sits right now, world changers. Isn't that awesome? Is that not so awesome? Uh, I, I look out in the crowd and I see faces and I see folks around and I see, I see sons sitting beside dads and who knows who's going to take over the business, you know, in the future, you know. I, I had a, a cousin that was sitting in, in the church a while ago and he was making faces at me. 
He was actually sitting right where Justin's sitting. And this kid was sitting there and he's doing this, you know, and he's all that. And I, in my head, I'm thinking back to him because his dad owns a business. And he has interest in wanting to take over that business. Who is going to take over business here if we don't instill it in them? Right? Times are tough. It's not easy. But here we are. Praise God for it. That's what I give to you today. We are a blessed church, and we should treat these possessions, and I say I'm possessions because they're yours. Mine's here, too. I get to see, actually, I have two grandsons that are here. No, I'm, I'm not that old, but yes, I have, I have two grandsons here. Yeah. <laughs> One's actually asleep, and, but the heritage that you get to see, and it keeps going, and it keeps going. Where's Abby at? Let's just start out with this. Abby, come here. We will start our award ceremony with this, okay? Abby, as a product, and I've used this before. I have to have her up on stage because you've got to see this. As a product, Abby and, and all the kids up here went through Awana. And I've used this before, so let's use it again. But I was kind of chuckling at, uh, you got on boots. This ain't fair. <laughs> Dan, she's a tall girl, right? <laughs> But that's all right. You are a very blessed lady. You can sing and you can play, and the rest of you, the rest of them can as well. I'm not discrediting anybody. But many years ago, Abby was probably this size, and this is when we were in the in the fellowship hall. We done everything in the fellowship hall. We didn't have a gym for those of you that didn't know that. So the Awana, the Awana, the game square, we had that in the fellowship hall. And we would move everything out. All the gentlemen that was in the, in the uh, uh, Rollins class was up there for Sunday school. They would get done with Sunday school and they would move everything out for that night it's to prepare us so we could come in and do that. It was so cool. So we're giving out awards as we always do. Abby comes up and I said, Abby, give me a high five. And I hold my hand up like that. And she went to jump and she plowed me. I think that's the only time that's ever happened. But, you know, we use it quite a lot, you know, and it's so funny. But to know where we were at and to where we've come to, you know, and to see the product of that. Did Awana shape her in musical stuff? No, that comes with, that comes with practice and family and, and all that stuff. But I just I wanted to see, you know, hey, this is one of them that was down here. So thank you so much. So here we go. Let's get started because our, is our kitchen help in here? They're all, they're back there. Is Carla in here? So, yes, please come to the stage. Yes, right? I, we have to recognize you. And you all, this is like, let's see, let me, who is this? It's Carla. And I have in parentheses ringleader, Carla, right? <laughs> Cheryl Baker, Linda Jones, Brenda Morgan. Come on. Now, y'all going to come, you can come stand, you don't have to climb the stairs, right? Listen at you. Come on now. Where's Amanda? Carla takes care of our... Uh, uh, she will send out messages to our uh, uh, kitchen team. And they take care of stuff. She puts together all the food. She gets all this. Carla takes care of that. I was hoping that the rest of them would come up here and help. So now we can go back. So, you know, and, and, uh, and whatever you got to do and get ready and all that. So thank You, those that are out there cook, cooking, uh, uh, we, we're cooking hamburgers and hot dogs. And so Clyde is out there, and I think I... Ryan Avery was out there. That's who I saw out there. I don't know if anybody else is out there. I didn't see that. So here we go. Puggles. Puggles, you are more than welcome to come to the stage. So this, in this group, this age group is, uh, this is like pre-K stuff. It's little bitty dudes, right?
gray shirt. So, do I? Can, do you want to? Uh, you want to have some? You want to talk? You want me to take him? It's been a long time since I've had to pass a child over. So, sleep. Okay. We've had way more than just these three, but we are got some out. So we have Elliot Johnson. Okay, y'all got it. And rookie Beasley and Atlas Beasley. Can you take your award, buddy? I know. He wants to know what's all in the bag. Then we also had Kai Bush, Huntley um, Robinson. Is she in here? Okay. And Jenny Beaver, is she here today? Okay. We also had those come through the program. I also want to say a huge thank you to Maria and Krista, who uh, literally had my back for six weeks as I had back surgery. Um, and that was not planned when we started, and I just really appreciate them stepping up and taking over when I couldn't be there. So, this is ours. Parents, just so you know, when, uh, when they're done, they're going to come back to you. Uh, so, if there's room in there, if not older kids, just come back to your seat. Uh, next up is our cubbies. Cubbies is led by Kathy Johnson. Kathy and her crew of Shannon Peets, uh, Gina Gunther, Ashley Comerford, and we had Hannah Inman there for a short time, and uh, Hannah had some setbacks. So, uh, so anyway, come on up, guys and gals, if you'll line up up here. Yes, this is awesome. Now, you want to talk about patience. Mm. Got to have a little patience here, right? Kathy does an exceptional job with these children. She, you go down and you walk past their door, and you hear music playing, and they're singing songs and, and doing different things. And right, you get pretty much, you know, this is Abby's mom, just so you know. This is the face planner's mom. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't teach her to face plan. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, we enjoy working with cubbies, and he's already mentioned the helpers, and I couldn't do it without them. Um, Melody did help a, f a few weeks here at the end of the year. Um, we needed some extra hands, so she came and helped as well. All right, so we have certificates, and we have some um, are going to get ribbons, and Miss Shannon brought some good bags, and here we go. All right, Atley is not here. Atley Robinson was in our class. Um, Bo... Would you come get your certificate, please? Christian. Christian. And Hudson Slinkard is usually in our class. He's not with us today. Kendall Brown. The other Kendall. We have two Kindles, so we always had to say last names. <laughs> and then Penelope. These other kids are getting a ribbon because they completed their entire book this year. Said all of the verses in the book. So they get their certificate and the ribbon. Um, Zane. And Colton Black um, is not here, but he also completed his book. Um, Carter? Carter's not here either. Atticus. <laughs> and Lily is not here. Callan. And Cannon. Addison. Maddie.
and Kendall Brook. And I told them, I, I get nervous when I get up here, and I told them when we got up here, the first thing we were going to do was the first thing we did in our class every week, and I forgot. So we're going to do it now. Are you guys ready for your verses? Okay, what is our Cubby's key verse? We find it in 1 John 4.10. Say it all together. God loves Yes, and what is our Cubby's motto? Say it big and loud. Jesus loves me. Okay. And then uh, we have an A on our vest and a C on our vest. So our A verse is Romans 3.23. And our C verse is Romans 5.8. Thank you for sharing your children with us, and be on the lookout for them to come down and find you. Hey, just for a moment. Come here, Bo. I'm going to look back here at Mom. Now listen, for those of you that are going to bring your children, okay, I'm going to use Bo as an example. If you're pulling your hair out and you think, my kid will not go, my kid will not go, my kid will not go. I saw this young man not want to go. He didn't want to go, but you know what? Mom stayed after it. And I said, in time, Mom. In time, it'll happen. It will happen. It'll be. It, it'll. It just takes time sometimes. And look where he's at now, huh? Yeah. You come and hang out with us, don't you? Yeah. I'm totally putting him on the spot. Now you can go. Thank you very much, Bo, for coming up here. You jumping or you going down the stairs? Hey, go this way, Bo. Bo, go that way. They're sitting right back there. Keep going. Turn. Go down the aisle. So, so don't, don't pull your hair out. Just know that, you know, it can, it can happen. You know, I, I got a grandson that has had done the same thing, and he's actually warmed up real nice. So uh, here, here we go. The next group up is our Sparks group. And uh, our group leader in this, Dawn, well, and her other helpers in this that help, we have, so this is kindergarten, first grade and second grade, and we divide those up. Wire, Nikki Pedigo, Sarah Miller, and uh, Donna helps in this. Donna Bowles, is she in here somewhere in here? So you, you can, you, whether you want to sit there, you want to come and hang out, whatever. I know because we use Donna in a couple other places, but primarily Donna lands in, uh, in Sparks if we need her to. So this is the group here that we have. Uh, some of you just want to come down on this side. Some of you just want to come down here. You want to go stand down there? There you go. Thank you. So I will hand the microphone over to Miss Dawn. Okay. Sparks is kindergarten first and second grade. And I do have some friends who would like to um, quote some scripture for you. So if you have a verse ready, raise your hand. Okay. Addie. He who seeks and saves what was lost. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in one. He lies me, he leads me beside. He, I don't know where it's found, but... Uh, Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Who else? First John four fourteen. As is for saved, the Father hath sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. One and only Son, to whoever believes in Him, 
shall not perish but have eternal life. Acts 16.31 Believe in Jesus John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that I gave his one and only Son, who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Philippians 4, 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Good job. All right, we have a lot of certificates and awards to give away. So when you hear your name, come up over here. Okay. All right, first we have Brandon Yates. Brandon. Brandon. I'm going to have to bring that closer. Omni. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Dawson. Allie, <laughs> Bo, <laughs> Conley, <laughs> Derek. Eden, <laughs> Juliet, <laughs> Mahela, <laughs> Olivia, <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> Victoria. Can you pick it up? There you go. Willow. <laughs> Tate. <laughs> McKinley. <laughs> Jace. <laughs> Gracelyn. Fisher, <laughs> Emmett, <laughs> Emma, <laughs> Addie. Jackson Slinkard. <laughs> All right, we have some book completion medals for Gracelyn, <laughs> Emma, and Victoria. <laughs> Emma, <laughs> Sadie. Willow, and Eden. All right, now we have three special Sparks Awards 
for three Sparkies who have completed three years, kindergarten, first, and second grade, and completed all of the books in Sparks. Yes. And that goes to McKinley Clark. Oh. Addie Vickery. And Tate Vickery. All right, Sparkies, I want you to pick up all your stuff, and then um, I've had a request for everybody to come over here. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a group photo real quick. Come on, kiddos. Awesome job. Give it up for the Sparks. Our next group up is our TNT, and we'll have them come up by uh, grade. But TNT covers third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And the third graders will be up first with Scott Embry and Carl Miller at the helm. Scott was the lead on the uh, in our uh, third grade uh, class, so... Third grade, come on up here, please. All right, here we go. All right, I teach the third graders uh, for TNT. We have a usually bigger class. We have usually about nine people in our class, and oh, we have five today. So, Aiden Rundles. Hey, Aiden. Elise Hood. Hannah Johnson. Lana Clark, oh. Miss Morgan Wild, who isn't here, Paisley Willis, who's not here, Tiana Schlag. That would be the third grade TNT. Does anybody want to say a verse? Okay, Miss Lana. James 2.10, for whoever keeps the whole law and it stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. Matthew 28, 6. He is not here. He is risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he laid. Matthew 6, 9, 8, 13. Sorry. Thou shalt pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thy, but 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Galatians 2, or Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. I also forgot I have two awards for completing the complete book. I got one for Miss Hannah and Miss Lana. All righty, that's your third grade TNT. Thank you all so much. Working hard, yes. Now we're on to the fourth grade. Fourth grade is Richard Jones and Jana Clark. Come on up, kiddos. Come on up here. All right, fourth grade class. Uh, Jalen. Thank you. Matthew Vi. Colby Clark. Avery Pettigo. <laughs> Destiny Shadowns. They worked really hard this year. They've, it's been an honor teaching them, and I've, I've learned a lot from them. And... Uh, Miss Colby, she uh, she completed her book this year. Good job, y'all. Oh, any anybody have a verse to say? John three sixteen for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, and whoever is that right? <laughs> Whoever believes in him should not finish without eternal life. Awesome. Good job. Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Good job. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all so much. You can return to your seat. Good job, man. Good job. They all do. They've all done a great job. Next up is our fifth grade class. And Jan was at the, the, the head of this class, and, and, and Lee helped Jan in this class and, uh, uh, until he passed away. And then now Randy's going to come up and, and help her uh, with her stuff. So uh, are you ready? Um, I had a great class this year. It was an honor to be able to um, talk with them and try and teach them the things that were in the Iwana book. 
They all have such a great attitude. Um, it was a, a delight to be with them. They're full of life and want to learn and ready to ask questions. I really, really enjoyed being with this age group. They were great. So we have, uh, actually, when I started out, I had like, I think, 10 or 11 kids my first day, and I'd never, I've never been a teacher before, so, uh, except for my own kids. So that was... Uh, it was a big class. We were stuffed in there, but they all did really good this year. So uh, we have two that want to do scriptures. Um, Savannah. It's on 11:35. Jesus wept. And Gabe. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4. He is the rock. His works are perfect. All of his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong. Upright and just is he. Philippians 4.13. Wait a minute. And Elena? Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Anybody else? Dylan? James 2.10. For whoever keeps the whole law but yet stumbles at one point is guilty of breaking all of it. Okay. All right. Savannah? Ambry? Quinn McGuire, Elena Johnson, Haley Shelton, Oliver Green, Jackson Strunk, Dylan Hood, Gabe Carver, Evan Turner, is Evan here? I have a certificate for Evan, and Maya Brush, uh, yeah, then we have a little gift for you guys. They were all, this is such a great age. I just enjoyed them so much. And maybe I'll go for sixth grade next year so I can be with them again. All right, give it up for the fifth, fifth grade class. Kids, walk this way. When you come out, hey, get you a, get you a bag here. Next up, Randy's already up here. Bob Bowles helped Randy, so Bob's all chilling back there. So if you want to come up, you can. That's up to you. He's like, I don't, I don't come up there. So. <laughs> Give it up for Bob over there. So uh, sixth grade class, whoever's in that sixth grade class, want to come on up? Sixth grade class, Rowan McGuire, the Lone Ranger. Anybody else in that sixth grade class that, uh, that, that uh, has been here? helped or been a part of all right the stage is yours sixth grade class right here <laughs> last year we had the fifth grade class and it was him and one other so he's very faithful and we're proud of him uh, the reason I was up here with Jan was because of Lee, and he said I would say something about Lee, which I did want to. We got pretty close to Lee. He was a great guy. And the amazing thing, at his funeral, his sons had come and shared things about him, and lo and behold, he was the head of a Toastmasters club. I don't know if you know what Toastmasters are, but they get together, have dinner, and take turns giving public speeches. You know, so they're doing what I'm doing right now, which I used to be scared to death to do this. It's kind of fun now. And the reason I say that, like he said, he was surprised they'd use a 77-year-old guy to try to teach the kids, and he was excited. So the day that he was supposed to give his large group 20-minute teaching to the kids, he was nervous. 
This is a guy that was head of a Toastmasters club. That's how serious he took it. He wanted to do it right and wanted to make sure the kids understood what he was saying. So we miss him, and, but he's with the Lord. That's where we're wanting to be eventually. So back to Rowan. This is his fourth year with TNT. He's finished every book. I made a note. Let's see if I can remember it. They do 28 memory verses a year. There's four sections, seven lessons in each one. And he's did that for four years. That's 112 verses that he's memorized. I may come up with a couple. And I think the one, he's wanting to share one with you, which is Ephesians 4, 8, which is one of the most important verses in the Bible. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it's not from yourself, it is the gift of God. Not by works so that no one can boast. Amen. And here's your certificate. And that's for reading your book once again. And we appreciate you. Thank you. Give it up for our sixth grade class. See, it goes to show you, though, even though, hey, I'm the only person in the class, you can still come. You can still be a part of it. It's awesome. So uh, moving on, we got our next portion of this is very important to the kids. And because kids are competitive, we're competitive, right? So, uh, Justin, just for a second, you know, just, just, just come on up, you know. Not only is he our, our game director, but he was our videographer you know, that put everything together today, you know. And uh, so I don't have anything fancy for Justin, so here's your award. <laughs> but I want you all to see the, the, the faces that, that help in Awana. So do you have anything you want to say? You good? Or you want, yeah. I do very little in Awana compared to the teachers and everyone else, but I do try to run the sugar out of them. Or get them ready to eat, depending on when they come, if it's before or after snacks. So. Yes. You do that, and you do a great job at it. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. So, Justin, that's our game guy. So we have this thing called Fast Track. Fast Track is where our kids come in before Awana, and, and they, we ha they come to the adults, and they recite their scripture. So that kind of, we, 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 have to, we need that so we don't spend a lot of time in our in our classes doing that so we can they can come to our adults before that so we had three ladies that uh was part of our fast track where is mary lee connie swafford and gina gunther is are they are they here if you, anyone here mary's there connie's here gina's been up here once where's gina gina Way back over in the corner. Yes, it's Gina. So, ladies, thank you very much for your role in Awana uh, because uh, it's, it's, it's a very, you may not think it is, but it's a very key and very important role uh, in Awana. So, next up is Trek. So, we run our high school uh, ages as well and our junior high. So, Trek, Rachel Jones is uh, our Trek lady. Where's Rachel at? She's right there. Now, did you want not want to come up, or did you just want me to recognize you, or just <laughs> recognize? Yes, perfect. I told September that she was going to get to come on stage, and she's like, no, I'm not going to. And I'm like, hey, see, yeah, yeah. Great. So am I right? This is seventh and eighth grade. We stop uh, in the TNT stops at sixth grade. So this is sixth and seventh. Man, you get any taller. This boy, we're going to have, look at this. Dude. Yeah, I hope y'all got a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to put your arm around me. Okay, Rachel, here you go. Thanks. Oh, I, for I forgot I had to talk. <laughs> um, thanks for bringing your kids. Um, I used to be in the TNT, and I loved that. And then I really wanted to kind of expand and, and get some of the older kids because I think this is whenever life is starting to get really hard. Um, I, I kind of remember being this age, so um, I just really wanted to, to work with some of the older kids and the opportunity arose and I, I took it. Um, and I'm thankful for these kids. They're awesome kids. They keep me on my toes 
they ask good questions. They, yeah, they, they bless me more than they even can imagine. So I appreciate each and every one of you for coming each week. Most of you came almost with no absences, and I love that. Um, so anyway, so we've got, hang on, let me get my little pocket. <clears throat> All right, we got Logan Turner. You're welcome. We got September Green. We have Kay Kaylee Gunther. You're welcome. Aiden Embry. <laughs> Do I have Brody out there? I saw him earlier. I thought I saw him. Okay. And I did have a couple other girls um, that came to my class for a while, but then their servant hearts kicked in, and they went and helped their mamas and their moms. Um, so I've got a little gift for Melody Comerford and Miss Malia Bowles. I'm not going to miss you two. Um, and that's, that's my kiddos. She's like, psych. I'm, I just stand up, and then I'm going to sit back down. All right. All right, next up is our journey class, and that's uh, Darlene Harris uh, is the head over that class, and that's 9th through 12th grade. Yes, we go from 18 months all the way up to senior in high school. The WANA program covers a wide range of uh, folks. Darlene is sitting right back here. Are you just going to stand up and be recognized, or are you coming up? She's coming up now. She says her class won't come up here, but, uh, uh, you know, it's okay, class. Just leave her up here by herself. It's all right. <laughs> uh, so I averaged probably nine uh, to a couple weeks we had in the 20s over there across the way. Um, freshman to senior, but I actually have some that come that are already out of high school. Uh, so they just keep coming, and that's okay. Um, but in the rig big picture of everything, some of mine now are in the band, which I'm so proud of each and every one of them. And I know they are world changers in my class. They're already changing things. Some of them are going off to college, and I'm going to miss them. They are my kids. I feel like that I've had some of them since sixth grade, and I'm going to be sad when they leave and go away to college. A couple are already in college. Um, thank you for teaching them that it's important to get here because a lot of them are driving and they bring themselves. Um, so I hope they continue to do that because soon and very soon they're going to be leading us. Thanks again. Thank you again for uh, all that you do. We have a couple more things. So security, we have a guy that runs security for us, and he does our quarter drop. So a quarter drop is we don't charge anything for Awana. We're blessed to be able to do that. So all the vests, all the little jewels and everything, all that, the church takes care of that. So the only thing that we do is we have a quarter drop. And they get awarded if they, we got salt shakers that's in these jars of water. And if they drop a quarter down in this salt shaker, they get a prize. That's, that's, that's how we, and it's not much. We just, that's, we do it more so for the kids. And I'll give a shout out to Mike Harris. He's not in here, so I can say this. Mike Harris gives a stack of quarters every week to Miss Dawn, and Dawn hands them out to the kids so they can do have the quarter drop. So, oh Mike, you might think oh Mike's gruff, but on the inside Mike's soft. And uh, if you peel him like an onion, I'm telling you. And I, I hug on him a lot and love on him. He punches me, but that's okay. Uh, Mike, Mike's a good dude. But uh, John Tanner is our is our security and our quarter drop guy. So I don't know if John's in here. I don't see him in here, but. Get up for John. If you are a parent and you helped in a rotation with our program, 
Can you stand up, please? If you are a parent that helped, and I know there's parents in here, don't make me call you out on this. So I know there are some parents that are in here that did help in rotation. I know, yes, there's a victory lady back there that is not standing up. Yes, that's right. Yes, I got one back here, got one over here. So and I thought there was a few more than that. But uh, thank you very much for what you do. You help us. Uh, that helps us in tremendously. Our last piece of this puzzle. There's two other ladies that are behind the scenes that make this program really run. And my wife does a ton uh, behind the scenes. So uh, what we'll call them as the sign-in ladies, okay, is Miss Chrissy Holmes and Miss Rhonda Pedigo. So you can stand up, you know, and, and be rec recognized. So. If Chrissy and I are out, it all falls on Rhonda's shoulders to, to make sure everything is in order and, and things are working. And, and that's, a, that's a pretty big undertaking sometimes uh, when that happens. So uh, these ladies do a lot for us in Awana. So uh, we're going to go eat, okay? We are, we are like they were expecting us 15 minutes ago. So uh, thank you very much. It is a blessing to be able to get to minister to your children. And uh, thank you for bringing your children here and being a part of it. Uh, when, we, when we pray here in just a second, grab your kiddos and head up to the fellowship hall. There will be food up there. Uh, kids, listen. Parents, help me out here on this. When they go to get in the bounce house stuff, take your shoes off and take off your uh, vests that has the pins on it. Don't get in that with your... Uh, pins uh, we don't need to pay for a bounce house okay where it pokes a hole in it so if you all will let's stand and let's uh let's pray we're gonna pray over the food and then we'll go eat okay father we are so thankful to be able to uh come uh, today and lord just give first thanks to you for the ability to be able to uh house this program at our church Thank you for the uh, for those that had a vision for Awana years ago, and Lord, and I, it, it is impactful to our church and to our children, Lord, and it writes your word upon their heart. And Lord, thank you for all those that had helped in this program, and uh, Lord, I cannot express and thank enough for what they do. Lord, we just ask that you would bless this food as we eat it. Bless the hands that prepared it. Lord, give us fellowship as we sit around tables and we bounce on bounce houses, Lord. We just thank you so much for your, uh, the, the kindness that you bestow upon us, Lord. And I pray that we never take it for granted. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all again.